What is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to unofficially install android 8.0 oreo on your galaxy s7 edge so today we are going to be installing a leaked firmware yes this update is still not officially available for our galaxy s7 edge and i'm just going to talk slow because i'm literally recording at 6 30 a.m and everybody is just sleeping so bear with me but uh, it just looks amazing i've been using it for almost one day again the performance is good all the features from the galaxy noted are just amazing so just a reminder as this is a unofficial way i would be making a, another video when samsung actually releases a ota for our galaxy s7 so stay tuned for that if you want that instead please subscribe down there because this will actually void your warranty which you're probably already lost i guess because this is a two-year device but still you will also lose some of the features such as secure folder and samsung pay which will no longer work once you do this so if you have a shitty bank like me who doesn't actually support samsung pay just join the bus and follow me so first of all you have to just go to settings just like this so once you go into the settings you have to go to about phone once to do that you have to search for build number which would be over here as you can see tap it few times until it gives a message that you have unlocked developer settings once you do that just scroll down again and you will find the developer options over here go to developer options and make sure that you are enabled oem unlock yes just turn it on and then again usb debugging is not necessary but just turn it on in case your pc doesn't support the drivers it would be helpful now there is no need of wiping your internal storage but we would be wiping your data so you can use all the apps such as super backup tool or app backup restore to take a backup of your apps with the data or you can just use samsung smart switch or samsung cloud to do that which would be also helpful once you do that we are now free to install android oreo so before doing that we would be installing a custom recovery on your phone so for that we would need a pc now once you have all the things set up such as your laptop or your pc with a usb cable connected you have to just download samsung usb drivers once you install that then you have to download these four files no encryption top recovery the rom and odin then you have to just grab your phone and power it off just like that then you have to just hold on your power home and volume down at the same time once it shows the screen you have to just press volume up then on the PC, you have to open Odin. You have to just go to options and just uncheck F reset time and auto reboot. This is quite necessary. Then you have to just go back to the lock, select AP and your recovery must be on desktop as you have just downloaded it, which would be the Hero 2 LT IMG. Open it and just hit start. And it would be just done under two seconds. Just easy as that. Then you have to just go to your phone. Again, press power, home and volume down at the same time. And once the screen goes black, you have to quickly switch it around with the volume up just like this. Cause if you just let it reboot, it wouldn't be installed. Then you have to just go to wipe, advanced wipe, dynamic, system, data, cache. There is no need of internal storage at all. Then just wipe to wipe. Then you have to just go to your PC and copy these two files, which would be the encryption and the ROM. So once you are in the recovery, your Galaxy S7 Edge will have to pop up over here, just as normal. You have to go to internal storage and copy these two files. As you can see, I have copied it already, so I will not do that again. And for root, you have to also download Magic 15.2 or later. So the only thing that you have to do right now is to go to install, scroll down, select the actual ROM, add more zips, select no variety encrypt. And now if you want root, add more zips and select Magix. And then you have to just swipe confirm to flash and it will take around two to three minutes just don't panic your device is completely safe and there you go it was not even like two to three minutes all the stuff just installed under a minute now you have to just hit reboot system do not install and voila you have successfully installed android 8.0 oreo unofficially on your galaxy s7 edge now as this tutorial says you can actually do this on your galaxy s7 but just the touch screen wouldn't work i know it's a weird glitch in the past with android no good s7 edge roms work just good on our galaxy s7 but for oreo it's an exception so if anything comes out i will sure to leave a link in the description and i will also update the title of this video but just right now only galaxy s7 edge there is something on the lens let me just clear it so that was almost around two to three minutes and as you can see it's in vietnamese cause the rom has been leaked from vietnam so let's just set it to english us looks familiar and the setup is completely now white there are no blue accents at all and they are also copying a little bit of ios you will see that later on as it will use a very bold text same as ios 11 as you can see connect to wi-fi extremely bold letters next all agree next next no thank you skip anyway agree there's our samsung cloud now it will give you only option for restoring data from your samsung cloud just right over here you don't have to set up your whole phone and just go back again into the setting next you will also get few options for extending your battery life then i get secure your stuff font size and screen just right in your setup which is kind of cool because most of the business people wouldn't even like notice that their phone can do this congratulations you have successfully installed official android oreo unofficially and just before then everyone here is how it looks after the setup completely new you get one vietnamese bloater which you can of course 
Premium. There is our Magix Manager. As you can see, our device has been successfully rooted. Now, why Magix and not Super SU? Well, Super SU doesn't really work good with Android Oreo and with Samsung Oreo ROMs, just don't even ask. While as Magix is completely systemless and then again, it's extremely newbie friendly. So you can update it easily. The app gets updated. Then again, it guides you how you can update it. As you can see, update your Magix Manager. It gives you right front. Then again, you can also easily install mods such as downloading your Magix modules. Go to downloads and you can find various of stuff which would be also updated from the Samsung Oreo ROMs in near future. As you can see, if I just search for Galaxy, I can find Galaxy Noted dual speaker mod for a Nougat. So this would be updated soon. So you don't have to shuffle around the system. You can just do it systemless. Then again, you just have your normal stuff. Let me just confirm you that this is Android Oreo. Because some of you dumbasses will still argue with me. There you go. Android 8.0 Oreo. Finally, Samsung Experience version 9.0. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like my effort by recording this at 7 a.m., please drop a like. And if you want some of the inside stuff like this for Galaxy S7 Edge, be sure to subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.